Hello Cougars, please stand for the Pledge of Allegiance. I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the Republic for which it stands, one nation, under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. Good morning, Mighty Cougars, and welcome to our weekly Wednesday podcast. I'm your host, Paris Clear. And I'm your co-host, Eric Espinosa. Today is February 2nd. We want to wish Victor Poe a happy birthday. We also have some Cougar shout-outs. Let's welcome Jared and Bo to the studio. Hi, I'm Jared Rosales. Shout-out to Delaney Allison. I'm Bo. Shout-out to Kaiwan with Duncan Mama. Great job on those shout-outs. Remember, if you want to say hi to a friend on our podcast, just let me know and I'll hook you up. Speaking of shout-outs, let's check in with Olivia and see what's cooking in the cafeteria because the cafeteria serves the biggest shout-out of them all. Yummy, yummy in my tummy, tummy. Hi, I'm with Denise in the cafeteria. What's for lunch today? Chicken Alfredo, salad, and a dinner roll. Mm. Sounds delicious. Delicious. Back to you, Sorry. <laughs> Back to you in the studio. There you go. <laughs> Thanks, Olivia. Let's check in with Maisie for our Cougar Country weather forecast. Thank you, Paris. Good morning, mighty Cougars. This week, you should prepare for lots of sunshine with highs in the mid to upper 60s. Our mornings will be quite cool, but by lunchtime, that sunshine will be out in full force. I gotta say, it seems like spring is just around the corner. On the East Coast, they have blizzards. In California, we have the nice, warm weather. That's why the West Coast is the best coast. Peace and love, back to you in the studio. Thank you, Maisie. And now let's turn it over to Carly, who has some important information about Senior Corner. Hey everyone, yesterday we had a great senior class meeting filled with tons of information about our upcoming activities and events. Can you believe that it's already February? Time really does fly. That's right. You don't want to lose track of time because it will be May before you know it. Yesterday we discussed the FAFSA and how important it is to get that bad boy filled out. I mean, it's money, honey. Who turns down money? No one. If you need support, all you have to do is reach out to Miss Accurso. Speaking of the FAFSA, let's spin that wheel. Congratulations to Zoe Petrie on our first FAFSA prize winner. While we are on the topic of money, the scholarship website is up and running. So you better go catch it. And don't forget to turn in your yearbook photos. We want to see your cute, squishy baby faces. And your senior quote and wheels pictures. Wow, there is so much to do. And we haven't even talked about our fundraisers yet. The senior class is hosting a Valentine Graham fundraiser. Swing by the stage and purchase a cute Valentine's Day Graham for someone special. It's only five bucks to let someone know that you are thinking of them. We are also hosting the enchilada fundraiser. These enchiladas sell like hotcakes, all because of Sarah's special sauce. But we need your help. We still need some supplies. And we need 10 seniors to help us make the enchiladas on February 25th. All that we will earn will help us have the best end of the year activities. Reach out and let us know if you can help. Back to you in the studio. Thank you, Carly and Haley, for that very informative segment. But the seniors aren't the only ones with things going on. For example, did you know that we have Cougar Study Club today? And our Cougar Pride and Rotary Top 40 Awards are also happening today at 8.15. Hey, Eric. Yes, Paris? Did you know that we have a Poetry Out Loud competition and that M Maria Sanchez will be presenting her poem at the county competition? Congratulations, Maria. Way to represent. You know what? I think we might have a clip or two from the competition. Let's check the film vault. Turn off the lights. Where are the layers? Sounds like a dad. Sounds like a mom. He's singing hymns down? Where are the lights? 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 New habits? No thanks. No need a bag. What else? Oh yeah. Tell ten friends. You can tell ten friends. You can tell ten friends. Make enough notes. Maybe the grown ups will finally hear the scream in the title. Do you know what else is happening? Well, our next club day is this Friday. Is that what you're talking about? No. And while Friday's club day is a pretty good guess, that's not what I was thinking of. 
Hmm, this is a mystery. Oh wait, I know. <laughs> You're talking about the open house and eighth grade registration night. I mean, that's on March 16th and we want to get ready to open our doors and welcome our guests. No, I mean, the art classes will totally be showcasing our stuff, but that is not what I was thinking of. Paris, you are a riddle, wrapped in a mystery inside an enigma today. I think I just need you to tell me what this top secret event is. For that, I'd like to invite Isabel and Monse into the studio. Thank you, Paris, and my fellow decathlete. My name is Isabel. And my name is Monse. This past week, we have been representing Upper Lake High School in the academic decathlon competition. We have been working hard all week to bring home the golden medals. And today is the final day of, of the interview competition. I think I speak for all of us when I say, good luck, mighty decathletes. Since we're talking about competition, that reminds me that we have some basketball games coming up. Let's check in with Carly for the deeds. Thank you. On Thursday, our junior varsity Cougars go up against the Credo Griffins. And this Friday, girls basketball competes against RUP. And we can't forget that senior night is next week on the 10th. One last thing, spring sports registration will begin on Monday. All spring sport athletes must be cleared. So save that date for spring sports night on Monday, February 28th at 6 p.m. Remember, at ULHS, we pursue victory with honor. Be there or be square. Back to you in the studio. Thank you, Carly. Before we end today's podcast, we have a very important announcement. The moment that you have all been waiting for is finally here. You don't mean, are you serious? It's finally happening? Yes, winter homecoming is next week. We have tons of fun things in store for you. I'm talking spirit days, lunch games, and a white out rally. Finally, I thought this week would never get here. We start next week with class color wars, and the seniors have a really fun lunchtime game plan. Monday, come to school wearing your class colors. Ninth graders are yellow, 10th graders are blue, 11th graders pink, and seniors are tie-dye. If you need a class t-shirt, just find Hyanga and she'll get you one. Then at lunch, you'll want to join us in the quad because the seniors have a crazy fun game for you. All I know is that it involves balloons. Lots of balloons. You know what? We have so many spirit days and activities. Let's bring Manny and Fernando back to the studio to tell you all about it. Hey, Manny here. After Color Wars Monday, we got Country versus Country Club. So Tuesday, come to school dressed all Western or like you are in the movie, High School Musical. The sophomores have a fun obstacle course for you to play at lunch. Next up, we have Hippie Day on Wednesday. So you want to be all peace and love and flower power. But I'm excited about Thursday, which is our Winter Wonderland Whiteout Rally. Come to school wearing white. We have lots of fun rally games and cheers to get you pumped up for our last home basketball game. Plus, senior night, we all feel the cougar den as we celebrate our seniors. Last time we had so much crazy fun, but remember, we always cheer with honor. We can be loud, but always be respectful. Core values and all that jazz. Last but not least is Friday, which is anything but a backpack day. What's that? Just what it sounds like. Instead of a backpack, bring something, anything else. School appropriate, of course. So next week is our winter homecoming. So bring your most cougar spirit back to you in the studio. Thank you, Manny and Fernando. We have lots of excitement around here. Yes, we sure do. But with all of that excitement, we don't want to get overwhelmed and overstimulated. Let's check in with Maisie for some self-care and tips. Thank you, Paris. Self-care is important, even in the midst of having fun. So if you feel stressed or off-center, try these tips. Take a one-minute stretch break whenever you can throughout the day. Stand up, change positions, anything to get your blood flowing. Frequent movement fuels your body, mind, and soul. That's all for this week's podcast. Go Mighty Cougars!